Okay, hey Majestics. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get um, Amazon Prime using your EBT card or your Medicaid card. Um, you pretty much, I just typed in Amazon Prime in the um, Amazon Prime EBT in the Google search web um, browser or any, you can do it in Bing or whichever um, uh, search browser that you use. Um, you can either click on the first one that shows up or the second one. I clicked on the second one. Um, <clears throat> you do need to be an Amazon, you do need to have an Amazon account. So if you don't, you will have to create one. Um, but it just kind of tells you pretty much what you get. So you get all the regular prime benefits. Um, you'll pay $5.99 a month. Um, you do have to qualify. You have to take a picture of your EBT card or your Medicaid card. Um, <clears throat> You do not get household sharing, so um, you don't get to share your account with, like, you can't have another adult or a child under your account. Um, you do get the benefits. Um, they say you can get them up to 48 months, and you do have to qualify every 12 months. So I guess, like, reapply every 12 months. So you click on Get Started. And then, this is like totally wrong, so wrong, can you hear me? But, um, it shows you here what the website is. It kind of tell you a little more about it, like the Prime membership. And then you have the two options to do your EBT card or your Medicaid card. And you click on either one here. You have to do like a total different thing. Um, so beware of that one. Like you'll have to do a uh, kind of, you'll have to like enter something directly from your Medicaid card, I believe. So, um, so I didn't choose that option. I chose the easy, the EBT option. So pretty much you'll put your, um, uh, EBT card number here. You'll choose what state you live in or where you're um, getting your um, EBT benefits from. Then you'll pick a, um, you'll take a picture of it and upload it. And then you'll confirm that it's correct and valid. And then once you hit continue, once you hit continue, people, this is very important. Oh, let me go back before I say that. Also, your EBT card cannot pay for your membership. So even if you may get cash benefits, I don't think that it may allow you to actually use your card to, no, you cannot because, um, when you pay, um, using a card, they want you to also enter the, uh, CVC number that's on the back of the card. And as you know, the EBT cards do not have that on there. Neither does it have like um, the brand that is issued like Visa, MasterCard, anything like that. So you can't actually use the EBT card. Even if you get um, TANF for cash benefits, you cannot use it to pay for your membership. But you'll be paying $5.99, which is substantially cheaper than what you would normally pay. Um, so... After you put all that information in, this is very important. This is what I was going to say. Once you click continue, it automatically sends your information for review. You don't get another chance to correct it, to change it, to change your mind or anything like that. Like once you put your EBT number in there, once you put the state, upload the picture, confirm that it's yours and it's valid, and then you hit continue, they're going to send it for review. So you want to make sure that your card number is right and that the picture that you're uploading is right, that all the information is correct before you do that. Because once you do, it is going to automatically send it out for review. Automatically. So once you do that, it's going to go, once you hit continue, it's going to go to another page. Um, it won't let you fake do it. So I can't like show you guys exactly how the next page looks like you have to actually put your information in there for that to happen. Um, but 
once you do it you click continue on the next page it'll say that you could do the free 30-day um prime trial um and then after the 30 days it'll um once they review your account and they'll let you do it after the 30 days you'll be able to um you will be able to pay $5.99 a month so if you haven't used prime before and you want to use prime as a free prime trial then you have the 30-day option to do that the free 30-day option to do that and then after that you'll be paying the $5.99 so yeah that's pretty much it on how you can get Amazon Prime using your EBT or your Medicare card. All right. Talk to you next time. Bye, y'all.